We're going to look at Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. All right. How art thou fallen from heaven, O morning star? Did I read it right? No. What does it say? Okay, you guys are more smart than a bunch of scholars today. It's Lucifer, right? Not morning star. Look at Revelation chapter 22. Who's the morning star? Jesus Christ, right? Your NIV calls it morning star. Your ESV and your NASB calls it morning star or day star. That's what they call him. Now look at Revelation chapter 22. Look what the Bible reads here. Revelation chapter 22. And Jesus is called what at verse 16? I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and the what? Morning star. Morning star. So is Jesus Christ the morning star? Yes. yes. Is Satan, who is the morning star? Jesus or Satan? It's Jesus. He should be the morning star. He should be the morning star. This guy is definitely not the morning star. I refuse to put the devil with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The only people who would put that is people who really have the devil in them. And those scholars, how they justify this is by Latin. How can you justify this? So John Ankerberg, James Y, Dan Wallace, the person who did the NIV translation, and all those guys, what they just they justified this translation. How can you justify this? There's no way you can justify it. It's from Latin, we gotta understand, okay? Okay, here we go. Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> In Latin, it comes from that. And it actually does mean in Latin, when you translate from Latin to English, morning star. Now, you've got to realize this. Wasn't our King James Bible translated from Latin? So they will argue that there, it's just an honest translation. An honest translation from Isaiah 14, 12, where the Latin word Lucifer in English is translated morning star. That's their justification. Their justification is this, too. So that you will see this in the NIV note the ESV, the NASB, and other modern version note. They'll put a little footnote underneath it because they know how controversial it was. They knew how controversial it was. So they'll put as a footnote that basically it's not the, it's like a morning star, but not the, see, not like the title. Their justification is this, because if you look at the book of Job, what are angels called in the book of Job? Morning stars, see that? So it's, it's natural to believe that Satan back then, he was just like these people, these celestial beings back then. It's not officially morning star like Jesus. We recognize him as the official morning star, but uh, Lucifer and all the other angels, we just see them as regular morning stars. So that's their scholastic argument, and they think they won. Okay, five points for them, woohoo. But the thing is this, is that, <clears throat> you know what's really funny and hypocritical about those translators? So here's Jimmy White and those people. They will criticize your King James Bible <clears throat> for being an inferior translation. And how they always pick, I notice this in their arguments. They always pick on the translation of the KJV because it came from Latin. The scholars, they focus more on what? Hebrew and Greek, right? So the reason why we like these modern versions, because we're trying to find out what the original Hebrew and Greek says. And then the, you'll notice when they try to argue against the KJV, they'll keep pushing about translated from Latin, 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 as if that would make it inferior and weak. They just made a weak argument. They used, these hypocrites use Latin See, they use Latin, not Hebrew and Greek. They use Latin to justify the translation of this. Wait a minute. I thought you were, I thought you wanted Hebrew and Greek. But you go to the Latin to fit your convenience on this one? Hypocrisy. Do you know what the Hebrew is? I'll tell you what the Hebrew is. The Hebrew is Halel. Halel. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna write it, okay? It's my Writing is crummy, crummy on Hebrew. Okay, I, I haven't written Hebrew for three years, so I'm not going to try writing it. But it's Halel, Halel. That's Hebrew. I'll just write it in English. 
So in Hillel, the translation goes from Hillel, and then in Greek, the Greek, you know what the translation is? Hios for us. Do you know what the more, the more literal translation of Hebrew, because you want the tr closest translation to the original Hebrew, right? It's not morning star, it's light bearer. That's why Satan can be transformed into what? An angel of light. Why did you pick uh, Latin, not Hebrew here? I thought you wanted to pick uh, the original Hebrew and Greek. See, hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy. So you got to realize this, is that this is a translation, light bearer. Not only that, didn't you know in Latin, it can also translate itself into light bearer as well, with this Latin word, Lucifer? Yeah, it can be morning star, but it can also refer to light bearer as well. Now, if we're going to get more closer to the original meaning, the more literal meaning, this would be the better one. But not only that, the reason why we would go for that one instead is because there are many other translations. This is not the only time. There are many ancient translations, and I'm going to quote Jewish translations because we want Hebrew, right? The original Hebrew, Isaiah 14. They even translate that not as the morning star. They put the, mornings, the morning separately from Lucifer. Jewish Virtual Library. It's an online Jewish Tanakh, Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? See that? They can recognize the distinction. Here's another one. Hebrew interlinear Old Testament. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? See once more. Not only that, the Spanish Reina Valera from 1557 through 1909, they didn't, you know how they translated it? They translated it as Lucifer, not this. They, they translated it as the title Lucifer. They called it Lucero. The Chizek Kralica, if I pronounce that right, I don't know. 1613, Lucifere. Romanian, Cornelescu, Lucif of Lucifer. See? So notice right here that these translators, they all knew that this was, it was a name address. It wasn't like this. Yeah. They all knew what that meant. The only people who didn't have the common sense to see that were modern version scholars. By the way, here's another thing. Go to 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. But, you know... Gene Kim, he doesn't know much Greek and Hebrew. Ha, 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 ha. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Ha, 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 ha. So let's, dis let's disregard this whole thing. Let's just disregard the whole thing. You know what the easy answer to this is? Okay. Let me ask you a simple question. Isn't Satan known to be as a god? Yeah, Satan is known to be as a god. But are you going to call Satan God? No. Okay, here's the thing. The thing is, yeah, they might have that description about them, but we refuse to name and address that person as such. So Satan is called, 2 Corinthians 4, 4, look at this, in whom the God, see, the God, not a God, all right, but the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. That's Satan, right? And we're not talking about a God, we're talking about the God right here. So are we going to call Satan God then? If any of you say that, wouldn't you call that person a blasphemer? Yeah. yeah, we would. So here's the thing is that, yeah, Satan, he's called the, not a. Oh, no wonder James White confused this with Jesus Christ. It, it, that makes sense now, see? Some of you might wonder that. Just look at my video on that one. But see, the God, just because he's described, see, description. We refuse to address it as a name. So just because it's described, we refuse to address it as a name. None of you would call Satan God. But these modern version translators would 
would call him, would address him as, O morning star. See that? So yeah, maybe let's, let's just assume this is the proper translation. It doesn't change the fact it's the description of him, and we refuse to title name him as such, as an address. Even the devils had better sense. Look at Matthew 8. The devils had better sense. Look at Matthew 8. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Let me ask you another question. Okay. The angels, yeah, they're called morning stars, but what are they also called? Sons of God, right? Are we going to call Satan and some angel, oh, you, you, are, you are the son of God. Oh, son of God. No, we're not going to do that. Because who does that, who is that applied to? Jesus Christ. We're not going to call some, we're not going to call so-and-so out there son of God. We're going to call Jesus Christ son of God. But their description is sons of God. The devils even had better sense. They didn't confuse Jesus with Satan here when they titled him this. Look at this. Look at Matthew chapter 8 and verse 28. Matthew 8, 28. And when he was come to the other side into the country of Gergesenes, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce, so that no man might, might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou what? Son of God, art thou come to hither to torment us before the time? See that? The devils knew that they address him as son of God. And Jesus will refuse do you think Jesus went to those devils and he said, Oh, son of God, after those devils called him son of God? No! Unclean spirit, that wicked one, murderer from the beginning. Jesus Christ would not have, our Lord and Savior would not have the audacity where his title is son of God, that he's going to talk to the devil in return, Oh, son of God, Oh, morning star, Oh, God, <laughs> let alone God. But here's something interesting. Isaiah 14, 12, who's speaking here? God. And you're saying that God Almighty was speaking to Satan, and he said, oh, morning star. Boom. You just made it worse trying to defend this. You know, we wouldn't have came up with this argument if you didn't start defending this. Because you defended it, you just digged a deeper hole why this is an extremely evil, and I mean an evil translation, because you said that God called him. God called him by his title. God would never do that. That's blasphemy, man. That's blasphemy. Let's also look at Romans. Well, we'll look at Hebrews 1. We're going to close it here. We're going to look at Hebrews 1. So think about it. Let's use some common sense. In Revelation 22, Jesus proclaimed himself, right? I am the morning star, right? And after Jesus Christ said, I am the morning star, you think Jesus is going to look at Satan when he comes at heaven and he says, oh, morning star? Problem, problem, problem. Hebrews 1, verse 5. Even God doesn't call the angels son of God by the title. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. See, God don't do that with any of the celestial beings. He's not going to call them that by that title. He only calls this person the title. We're going to look at verse 8. But unto who? The son. See? He saith, Thy throne, what? Oh, God, you think God's going to call Satan, oh, God? <laughs> no, okay? He's going to, but he would call Jesus Christ God. But you modern translators, you just said that God called Satan, not just by description, but by as an address to a name. So you might as well say, oh, morning star. You might as well say, oh, son of God. And you might as well say, oh, God, to Satan. That's what Jesus Christ said. Have a nice day. <laughs>